I mean, I don't work at uh, Meta anymore, of course, so I can't say that culture has shifted one way or the other. I think when I'm hearing your stories, that's pretty shocking to me. I'll answer Steve's earlier question, which is, I don't think Instagram is safe for kids. I don't think it's safe for me. I don't think it's safe for humans <laughs> necessarily to be on Instagram so much. You know, like I, I feel addicted to my phone. It's one of my top two addictions. Both of them are uh, are, are technology related. One is spending too much time on social media. The other is buying too much stuff when I'm advertised to on social media. And, um, both of them, I decided to resolve by just not looking at my phone more. And that has definitely triggered a, you know, how do you, how do you justify working in that side of technology? Um, when you can see it affecting even your own brain, uh, as a consumer and find it inescapable. And I think that like, goes back to your point earlier, Jeff, about it is possible to design these things so they're, they're safe for people, but it's probably not possible to design them so they're safe for people as an afterthought. Like it's probably not possible to sell cigarettes and then slap a filter on top. You just need to not be selling cigarettes like at that point. And if you're developing things to help teens connect to their friends, um, there are lots of design choices around the mission, help teens connect to their friends that are just not related to get more people to scroll through the product that is already Instagram and whatever it chose to um, evolve into, even if the people want it um, in the way that they have been wanting cigarettes, you know, as long as there have been cigarettes. And I think that's kind of where I am, um, where, where I think like, it, this is a bigger problem than just Facebook, of course, because I, I know why, I mean, I can really de empathize with why Mark is like, we have to worry about growth because of course, TikTok, right? Like when I started at the company formerly known as Facebook, There's, I keep calling it Facebook because it was Facebook then, but now Meta, um, there really was no TikTok. It was what, it was like a karaoke app. Um, and um, now that's the juggernaut. And so um, if we look broadly at like, this is the information ecosystem that teens are in, um, they're kind of each fighting, like Facebook is going to make these choices that are bad for teens because TikTok is making choices that are bad for teens. And they see themselves as competitors with each other, um, not as sort of, public servants to create a product environment that is safe for children. And I think that is kind of the incentive that um, is going to make it really hard for individual actors, whether it is individual companies or the individual humans at those companies to make the right choice on the margin again and again.